Okay, so you are uh, going through quite an emotional problem here or uh, emotional issues. You've got the Three of Swords, so there has been some kind of heartbreak that you have been dealing with uh, with this um, Three of Swords. And you've been doing a lot of thinking about it. Maybe you're overthinking it as well, but you're very, very focused on that heartbreak and that uh, you know, you're crying over it a lot. Um, and uh, you can see there's Mercury there. You're trying to get your balance back uh, with that Mercury in Libra by doing a lot of thinking about whatever has been happening. Uh, you know, it was something that you were very, very focused on, this uh, relationship, and it seems like, uh, you know, there's been uh, people that have let you down. There could have also been legal issues that were involved in this. So you could be dealing with a divorce situation, some kind of legal ending to a problem. You've got the moon card over there as well, so that's why I say there's a lot of confusion, unhappiness. Uh, you know, you're very, very focused on this, and it's causing you, you know, you're not thinking straight, really, uh, because of what is going on. And you are, you know, thinking of the worst case scenario, uh, and, you know, you are very, there could be some depression that is going on as well with it. Now, the positive thing is that you've got the Six of Swords over here. So whatever the situation is, you're going to be moving away. You've got Cygnus the Swan over here. So moving away from very, very difficult problems, sailing away from it, and, you know, um, you know being able to overcome difficulties as well uh, with the Six of Swords. So whatever that problem was, you will start moving away from it. Now, you've got the Seven of Pentacles in the past and the Star card over here. So whatever that relationship is, or was, it looks like you made investments and they didn't pay off. So you invested a lot of time, effort, energy into that particular relationship. It could have also been like a financial uh, uh, investment as well that you made into that particular investment um, relationship and it didn't pay off for you with that Seven of Pentacles. So that's why you're so un unhappy and so regretful. Now you've got the Star card coming in over there. So this is healing, hope, uh, for the future. So things are going to turn around for you or they're starting to turn around for you. You're starting to get over this particular problem. Now going into the future and also with the star card is being divinely guided. So there is something that is coming in on the divine, in, from the divine that is allowing you to move forward. You're seeing things or you're getting some insights that are coming in for you. Now, going to the future, you've got the devil and the three of wands over here. So you could well be dealing with a Capricorn person. You've got the side of Capricorn over here, and that rules the devil card. Saturn over there is about restriction, manipulation, being lied to, uh, you know, being told mistruths. The, in the devil um, tarot card, it's usually the devil hiding the light and keeping people in bondage. So maybe somebody kept the truth from you, and this is how uh, they managed to rope you in. Uh, you know, and make you and control you. You've got Pan paying, playing his pipes over here. And he used to, uh, you know, um, you know, almost make people dance because of the music he played. It was very hypnotic. So this is how that person was. And maybe you're still dealing with that particular person. So they're still around you. And maybe this is the person that you're having a lot of difficulties with. You've got the Three of Wands over here. So you are going to start moving away. So maybe you're planning on traveling or actually physically moving away. Uh, you've got this expanding horizons. You've got Jupiter over here. So luck is changing for you. And this um, uh, sign of Aries over here. So you are now taking control of your power and moving forward. The uh, Three of Wands is also collaborating with a lot of people, getting advice, going out with a lot of friends, meeting a lot of people. So maybe in order for you to break that cycle with this person that is very controlling or with that situation that is very controlling, you need to actually collaborate with a lot of people, go out there, make some friends, expand your horizons, uh, you know, expand your energies. Don't restrict yourself. Don't allow this person or this situation to control and manipulate you anymore. So meeting a lot of people, getting out there, and uh, you know, having a, having some fun really, uh, because whoever this uh, person was or whatever the situation was, it it seems to have, uh, you know, s almost sucked the life out of you, if you like. Um, so it looks like you know you need to get out there and uh, go and have some uh, some fun, meet some people, get a new perspective on life, really. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Tarot of the Spirit World. Tarot of the Spirit World. <laughs> so this is, uh, I have shuffled this deck. Let's just draw some cards.
So you've got the uh, Four of Pentacles over here, and this is about, uh, you know, study. In this particular deck, it's about study, and the study will open the gates for new money. You can see this woman with the money on her head coming out of the book. So this could be, uh, you know, a new offer coming in for you for, um, for doing some further study, doing a course, uh, but you definitely need to do something to enhance your skill set in order for you to make the money come in. You are worried about money. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, it's about thinking about money and worrying about it and trying to hang on to any penny, every penny. Uh, and in this deck, it's about learning. Uh, a further study, further learning is going to, opening the book, studying, is going to open the doors for new money to come in, and it will come in in abundance. So a new offer coming in or some uh, prospect coming in for study, something that you have to consider and you have to do properly uh, in order for you to move forward. Now you've got uh, the King of Pentacles and it's crossed by the Ten of Cups. So with the King of Pentacles, it's generally dealing with an Earth sign person. It's usually a card that focuses on Capricorn uh, rather than Taurus. Uh, Taurus usually uh, is the Queen of Pentacles. So the uh, King of Pentacles is maybe you've been dealing with somebody who is a Capricorn energy um uh, or it could be even dealing with a work situation. Now, so in the previous energy read, you were dealing with the devil card, which is about either work or dealing with a Capricorn person. And the same in, in this situation, it's the same thing. You could be dealing with a Capricorn person or that kind of energy, or you could be dealing with a work situation. Either way, whatever it is, is very manipulating, very controlling, and something that, uh, you know, you need to sort out. Uh, maybe, And it's almost like control from distance, them telling you what to do. You want to make a new start, and them telling you what to do. And maybe, you know, they made some kind of offer to you. So there might be an offer that is on the table as far as work goes as well. And in order for you to achieve that offer, you're going to have to go and do some further study or whatever that job is, it's going to involve further study. This could be also somebody, you know, in trying to manipulate you uh, by using money to manipulate you or by using a job to manipulate you to get you to do things. Whatever that is that you were dealing with that person, it has caused a lot of unhappiness for you because now you've got this choice that you have to make and that situation is coming to an end. So whatever that manipulation is, it's not coming to an end. It could have been a family situation, so there might be somebody in your family life that is trying to manipulate you by means of money. It could even be a manipulation in your work situation and they may be offering you something, but getting you... You know, they're getting more out of you than they're actually really offering you. So you need to look at that circumstance very carefully. Be very suspicious of this offer that is coming in uh, because it might just be for further manipulation or further trying to control you. But with this Ten of Cups, it looks like that particular cycle is now coming to an end. So whatever this relationship is that you have with this either this work situation or this uh, energy of this Capricorn kind of energy uh, situation of manipulation, a Saturn kind of energy coming in very strong with this particular card. It is now coming to an end. Uh, you know, there's, it looks like there's somebody that's going to come in and bring you an offer that takes you out of that situation and you're going to have to make some kind of decision. Whatever decision you make, you've got a shaman over here carrying two cups over here. So you are now being faced with a choice. And this is a healing choice. So if you make a decision to move away from it, you will you know, undergo a lot of healing. So that's something to think about. You need to break that cycle if it's been causing a lot of problems for you and a lot of manipulation. Um, you need, it looks like you need to break that cycle because it is coming to an end and you need to make a decision. So there's something that is coming. And it looks like you, know, you do need to do further study. There's further education involved for you to get money coming in. You need to specialize in some sort of way in order for you to bring the finances in. So in the past, you've got the King of Cups. So there might have been somebody that you've been turning to for that uh, advice. You've got this man going to with a cup to the King uh, of Cups over here asking for that cup to be filled. So you could, um, you know, be asking for some kind of advice. It could be in the form of going to either a doctor or even a counselor or even a father figure. There's somebody around you that you've been turning to for that kind of advice and support from. Now you've got this two of cups over here. Um, so this is, you know, something uh, coming in over here. People giving you offers of friendship, but you can see there's a dagger there. So maybe somebody is making an offer to you. You can see even that offer is being made in the mirror over there to this little boy, the offer of cups. But, uh, you know, there, there's, um, there's something shady about that offer that's coming in um, as far as you know, the person that you've been dealing with. 
it's either that work offer or that person that you've been dealing with that i like i said that capricorn energy whatever they're offering you um it seems like you know um there there's a hidden agenda so be careful about any kind of offers that are coming in even if it's an offer of friendship so whatever they're you know they're giving you uh has got um a hidden agenda something not quite right over there so just be aware of that uh you know be a bit vigilant be be very very careful about accepting offers uh, you know, especially if they're offering something, if something is too good to be true, then it gently is um, not true. So just be careful of that. Um, so you've got the Knight of Swords over here. There might be some legal issues that you are dealing with or waiting for some kind of legal news to come in as well. Uh, so there's something pending, some kind of decision pending as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the Eight of Wands over here. So things are starting to move forward, and it looks like there's a book over here. So it looks like you're going to be studying. There might be some travel as well. And you can see studying, this devil is almost going away. So, you know, um, uh, it looks like once you start engaging your mind or doing, you know, taking up the study, it seems like whatever manipulation or whatever has been going on around you, um, whoever this person is that manipulate, is manipulating you, uh, moves away so uh, it's important for you to actually start this new uh, uh, you need do this it might be even research that you need to do so it's something to do with education and it is important for you to do that in order for you to move forward so what's happening with you you've got uh, the five of wands so you have been very controlled very manipulated you might have been dealing with very difficult people uh and uh you know um there might have been a lot of them being very controlling, telling you what to do, making you feel as though you know you are uh, powerless. You can see this woman is naked. This man is, uh, you know, very much in control. This devil is very much in control of her. So it looks like, you know, they attacked your confidence. They stripped you of that confidence and made you feel very vulnerable as well. So you have been dealing with that kind of energy. Maybe somebody has been progressively chipping away at your self-confidence and now it makes you feel as though you have no power in your hand. So what's happening around you, this is the Queen of Cups over here. So you are pretty depressed about the whole situation, whatever's been going on. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, it's, you know, feeling uh, very, very uh, emotionally confused. There's a lot of self-reflection also going off. Maybe you're feeling also very, very tired. You want, um, you know, you want to just get out of the situation and get your energy back again. Because you can see the lady in the mirror is much younger than this woman. She, This woman is feeling really old. So whatever this emotional situation has been, has been quite draining on you. And it makes you feel as though you've aged very quickly. So, you know, you it seems like you, you need to actually get out of the situation to get your energy back. And also with this five of wands, it looks like this person is draining your energy from you. Almost like an energy vampire stripping you of all your confidence. It is time for you to act and move forward. And they're also causing a lot of drama because this devil is appearing in red. So there's a lot of drama going on over here. So we've got the Nine of Swords over here. So this is dealing with a lot of difficulties. A very anxious situation. People doing things behind your back. You can see this woman's face is completely covered by this veil over here. And a lot of swords coming your way and it's coming in, into your back. So, you know, you're worried that people are doing things or all these things are going on behind the scenes and you really don't know and you feel very very manipulated this is also about worrying about legal things that are happening and you don't really know what the outcome is going to be so if there's a, some kind of legal case that is pending you are also worried about that as well but you're worried about deception and lies and there's a it's a very anxious period for you right now it's got you down on your knees so you are feeling very very powerless in this particular situation so going into the future you've got the knave of swords over here the two of swords and the devil so really the knave of swords is you know trying very very hard to get that control back you can see he's climbing this uh, rock face to try and get that sword back and the sword is embedded in the rock so the truth is really well and truly hidden from uh, from you and you're trying uh, you know to get things sorted out and you know you could be waiting for a decision to come through as well a legal decision to come through and it just hasn't uh, maybe something is not going in your favor uh, the situation hasn't budged and you know you're going through uh, jumping through a lot of hoops uh, to get that situation sorted out as well so you know it's a very very difficult you're going through a very very difficult period and uh, very precarious as well so it could go either way you know one false move and it looks like you know things could go T uh, totally wrong so you are trying to get 
um, you maybe trying to get legal closure on a situation, um, but also, um, you know, um, the truth as well is being hidden from you. It's difficult to get that truth being revealed as well. You've got that two of swords over here, so there's that decision that you have to make. Uh, so it could be a legal decision that you're waiting for. So it's a difficult case that you're dealing with, maybe a difficult legal situation, and you're waiting for a pending decision to come in. You've got the moon over there, so there's a lot of lies and deceit that is going on as well uh, with regards to this particular situation. Maybe people are not speaking up um, and, uh, you know, there's uh, a lot of deceit going on. So something legal coming in, something legal that you're waiting for. You've got the devil as well. Yeah. So the devil was uh, also in the energy read. It's in this read as well. So you are, you could well be dealing with that very manipulative energy. So this person, even this uh, king of pentacles, is the reflection. So these cards are almost reflecting each other over here. Whatever the situation is is controlling you quite a bit so you could well be dealing with a capricorn person or that kind of energy or it could even be a manipulation by um you know uh somebody in your work at your workplace because the these are cards that are ruled by saturn now you can see there's that chains coming out of the mirror onto this person's neck so they really have got you where they want you uh, you know they're preventing you from moving they're pre preventing you from speaking they're very very much in control they are manipulating the money as well. So there might be a job situation where you're being manipulated as well. And it seems like, you know, you're almost powerless. In this case of the devil, this woman is being held by all these chains. And in this case, it's a child. So, you know, a child is uh, easily manipulated and really has no personal power. They're making you feel that small and insignificant. So you're dealing with a very, very difficult situation right now where you're being very, very manipulated. There might be some legal problems that you're dealing with as well and this is the thing that has got uh, control over you but it looks like that will come to an end with that ten of cups you will overcome the situation even though it seems very dire and with that eight of wands it looks like that devil moves away eventually so although um you know you are dealing with something very very difficult very very manipulative it seems that once you make a decision to either do some something further in your career or further your career as far as study or uh, goes, you know, it looks like you're going to be uh, able to move away from the situation. Uh, you are very, very controlled uh, right through. And like I said, just be careful of any kind of offers that come in because uh, they're hidden agendas. And they're nasty hidden agendas well, as well because there's that, that um, dagger there. So they're offering you something that seems like it's going to set you free, giving you a glass of water, and then uh, threatening to stab you at the same time. So just really be careful, because you're going through a very, very difficult situation right now. Now let's see, this is the Oracle Re, and you've got the Magician. Now this is always the card that's excellent, because it's a card of hope, and it's a card of power. And this is there's magic in the air, you can manifest anything you need to be successful. So don't be manipulated by whatever the offer is that comes in for you. Here's a hidden agenda, and it's quite a nasty hidden agenda as well. You are the magician, so you have all the power in your hand, and you will be able to sort yourself out and get yourself out of this difficult situation. So be positive. Think positive. So even if you're facing legal problems, you will be able to sort it out. You've got the king of summer over here. A trustworthy personal relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from your heart. Now you have the king of cups over here. So you might need to seek some professional advice in order for you to deal with the situation. On the other hand, this person that you've been going through and asking for some advice from is somebody that you should go back to and ask them for advice because they're going to be giving you some really good advice and it's going to be uh, something, uh, you know, that is for your benefit. So listen to it. And the final card is the King of Spring over here. So now is your moment to step up to a leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. So it looks like you are going to be victorious. You've got this big king of the lions over here, a new moon starting, some communication coming in. So something is going to be there to give you that power and victory as well. And you're going to start a brand new cycle. So although you're dealing with a lot of problems, maybe this king of summer is going to give you that piece of information that allows you to be victorious in this particular situation. And you've got the magician card over here. So magician, the magician card is also about education and study, uh, but it's also about being able to bring things into, manifest, into reality. So be positive. You are going to be victorious in this particular situation. And you are taking control. 
So I hope that uh, this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.